I show Cheryl Brandy Sneed, I show Julie Stauffer, I show George Knoll, I show myself, Dan Umball, Derek Jones, and Lisa Mullaney from the Treasurer. Let's stand and do the pledge. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes for November 2nd, 2016, regular session. <coughs> Accept the minutes deleting the paragraph about the old library. Second. A motion and a second. Accept the minutes. And with the old library section deleted. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> citizens, citizens input. Thank you. <laughs> I think Mark is doing what I would like to be doing right about now or earlier today. <coughs> so um, I have uh, MCDC report for the period of October 1st to the 14th, which was two days ago. Um, kind of some high points. I mean, it's still yours, which is too good. Um, with regards to uh, marketing, a couple items I want to bring to your attention. We submitted on behalf of, of uh, business attraction. This is actually bringing new businesses in. The proposal is somebody out there is looking for a site. And we put three proposals out during that period of time, and each three of the proposals were targeting specifically artists. So everything that we talk about today is just Argus-centric, if that makes sense. Uh, we actually conducted two site tours. Site tour is when somebody from outside the area is actually looking at the location. Ground sometimes, sometimes buildings. So we had two site tours. Uh, I do want to uh, give my thanks to, uh, to the city staff or town staff with regards to getting information on a timely basis. Sometimes these proposals, they want it today, sometimes, most times, yesterday. So uh, they were uh, responding very timely with regards to some information. Sometimes that information also includes rate, rates based upon parameters. So uh, once again, it's, it's not only marketing, it takes a number of different avenues well, that is the bottom line, where are the advantages? That's why you guys passed your incentive policy, if you will. Harvest infrastructure, we're taking a look at the infrastructure extension on over to the industrial park. We've had several conversations with Mr. Barrows, and it's nice to hear that he's doing quite well. And then, um, you know, I, I think if you saw the pilot uh, last Thursday, you would have seen, or Wednesday, I can't remember which day, you would have seen a what uh, is, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, a marketing uh, internal, internal to the community, uh, what has gone on relative to economic development. Uh, I think several members here were interviewed by Nancy Tyree, and they gave us a half page spread. So if you haven't seen it, call the office, we'll send you a copy. It's very well done. 
uh, product development is actually improving things, if you will, you know, product our land, buildings, and whatnot. So the work that NCDC helped the town, uh, specifically with the Speedway, met with the appraiser, uh, submitted the, the bid on that particular date that's noted. Um, regarding the shell building, we've, uh, the majority of buildings, we've had several conversations in design, uh, looking at specific location and looking at cost. I just received today what the RS estimate is, which is a little bit below what I originally had thought uh, uh, relative to our conversations with regards to that project. So we're going to go back and fine tune. My hope is and my goal is that we can wrap that cost, uh, wrap the cost of the uh, extension of the public infrastructure. We're talking about <coughs> trunk infrastructure, infrastructure, road, uh, uh, water, and sewer into that cost. Still the same price point. So uh, trying to get the biggest bang for our dollar as we go forward with that project. Um, third item here is a marketing video. You guys saw that. Since we last met and we unveiled that, uh, I heard today that there was how many hits? 1,300. 1,300 hits uh, with the uh, YouTube video. Uh, it was like within two days, 600 hits. Uh, one of those hits caused um, uh, inquiry by Inside Indiana. I don't know if you know that um, uh, TV magazine version. It's Gary Dick. It's filmed out of Indy. And he does kind of a composite of economic development, successes, and activities around the state. He invited uh, uh, Suzanne and myself to go down and take the segment. It was very short and sweet, but. It, it, it goes to speak to what is unique about that approach, and that's what he commented on. Do um, you want to mention anything about the taping? It didn't take that long. <laughs> <laughs> the pre-interview took longer than the actual taping, and he summarized much of it. Yeah, a lot of my board members have been uh, those individuals that have been in contact or have uh, a lot of conversations or. Uh, direct dialogue with folks from Indy, quite impressed. They uh, congratulated you. Today, we had the kind of development for the future. We showed that at the end of the meeting. I think uh, uh, you guys got a round of applause from about 41 people who were at that meeting. Comprehensive plan, workshop was conducted, and I believe uh, uh, relative to the workshop, there was about 90 individuals that had responded to the survey, so you know, that actually speaks well of our town and getting some other dialogue and public input relative to goals and objectives, if you will. Um, I think we have a scheduled meeting later on this month, and we're on target to have a final product, I'm going to say sometime in February. So county development for the future, tracking sheets we visit with staff and others relative to where the accomplishments, where the economic development uh, priorities for this town. We uh, convey those at a meeting that occurred today. Next meeting is scheduled for November the 16th. No, February the 16th. That's right. Yeah. We're in November, here. Internal communications just uh, uh, conducted an executive meeting relative to the Speedway conversation. Uh, Mark <coughs> was attended uh, in October a meeting and gave um, the report for MCEDC. So, with regards to that, uh, you have your report. And I'll take any questions that you might have. Thank you. Yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to give them a call. Sometimes they come up after I'm gone, general conversation or whatever it is, maybe. If you don't have any questions for me, I'm going to leave. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, Frank. Old business. Attorney report. <clears throat> oh, a few things. First, um, just to remind you, I think I'd sent maybe a week or so ago, an email concerning the, the research on the old library and the public works project. And basically, it, it would seem 
Uh, we've got to get three quotes if we're going to move that thing forward to have that uh, demolished or removed. Um, but I really think the next real step for the counselor or committee or somebody is to basically develop really what the plans and specifications are going to be, meaning does everything get removed or you're putting concrete back down and you're just taking off, you know, what exactly is it that we're going to have done? But once you know exactly what it is you're going to have done, I think we've spelled out the steps there um, in terms of how to get that bid out. Um, and it's not that complicated given the, the amount that we're looking at, so that's good. The other thing, um, I'm going to leave the farm resolution for last of so the farm ground lease. If you remember, we have been talking about this REMC joint petition and I've worked back and forth with the attorney that's representing REMC and got it to a point where I, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, we tweaked a few uh, things in there, or I did. Um, she was agreeable to that. Jamie was on the email and he's since gotten back to me. He's looked at this and he's comfortable with it. Um, there's two maps that are attached to that joint petition that really kind of tell the story, if you will. Um, we're just calling Heritage Street the, uh, the dividing line, which has been the de facto dividing line for quite some time. And we're going to do a little swap out by the solar park, but we, were, we will have the exclusive jurisdiction over that entire parcel, and we're going to be giving up a parcel that was already serviced by RMC. So we're really not losing anything out of this deal at all. Um, it's kind of status quo, but it's <coughs> confirmed with the IURC. What we need to do this evening, and um, I can tell you also that the REMC met Monday. I've got their signature on this document, so they've obviously approved it as well. Um, we need for you folks to approve that if that's your pleasure and get it signed so I can get it back down to uh, Aaron so she can file that with the IURC. So we do need action on that, and I'll let you guys act on that before I move on. <laughs> what do you want to call that? Petition? It's called the Verified Joint Petition to Modify the Service Area Boundaries. What we would need to be a motion to approve uh, signing and executing that document. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Yeah, motion and a second to approve the signing of the joint petition with RMC. Second. Mm -hmm. Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. I'll leave that. I need to take that back with me, but there's a few places for Dustin and Lisa to sign on the test. All right, then that takes us to the resolution for the farm lease. And I think your copy in here, yes, has a number. It's 2016-10. Um, we just had our public hearing regarding the leasing of this ground, and again, I think most of you were here, but uh, not doing anything different regarding the farm ground this year. It's still a one-year lease. Um, bids need to be submitted, I think, it's by December the 19th, by the close of business here at the clerk treasurer's office. We would open bids on December 21. And the way this works, folks, is that basically you've got the resolution that's the first page. The last two pages are basically the substance of what would be published in the uh, in the pilot so that everybody is on notice that okay we need to get our bids in here by the 19th of December uh, and of course <coughs> you're free to let anybody else know that you think might have an interest but they need to have a signed sealed written bid submitted to the town before December the 19th is the way that this is spelled out so we would need a motion to approve that resolution with those terms and specifications attached Make that motion to accept the resolution 2016-10 with uh, attachments. Second. And a motion and second to accept the resolution 2016-10 with the attached lease. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. You got the original there, Dustin. Huh? You got the original there? Yeah, that's right here. Okay. I'll need to, I'd like to take that with me too so I can Everybody yeah. Get that published. <laughs> Folks, that's all I had for this evening. I move to accept the attorney's report. Second. I have a motion to second to accept the attorney report. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you, Derek.
Welcome. Board openings, Marshall County Tourism Planning Commission <coughs> Redevelopment. Is this the right one? Yep. Okay. And then uh, BZA, mm -hmm. if you're interested, um, submit your uh, letter to Lisa. Any other old business? All right. Moving on, new business, employee health insurance. We just had a uh, workshop about this, so. Make a motion that we go with Anthem quote two on health and their Anthem quote one on dental and Anthem's quote on vision. I'll second that. With the employees paying 10% of the health insurance. Good. We got a motion and a second. Everything that George just said. <laughs> with the Anthem. Any further discussion on it? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Oh, <coughs> All right. Yes. Salary ordinance 2017. We're tabling that, right? Actually, it's going to be 2018. We need to do this 2016 16. We're going to table the whole thing and we're make a decision. No, we're going to amend it. We'll make a motion that we amend ordinance 2015 11 2016 salary ordinance. Change Harrison Parton from apprentice lineman to labor at a rate of $15 per hour and add a line item general labor $13.50 to $15 per hour. That's just for school. This is to fix this. To fix this year for the one of the year. Got a motion and a second to amend salary ordinance 2015 11, 2016 salary ordinance. <coughs> Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And then uh, this is going to make up for new ordinance. So, cell phone stipend. <coughs> Take it away. Take it away. Ordinance 2016 12. All the way. It's an ordinance and they need no phone. Employee cell phone stipend. Oh, well, we're going back to 10 pants. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Um, back in 2010, we <coughs> agreed to um, give cell phone stipends of sixty dollars a month to all the, to the town employees listed in this section. So there were eight town employees that were entitled, plus the Argus Police Department, which we have not done that in a long time. We've paid for their cell phones, so they were supposed to be getting sixty dollars a month, but we paid for their cell phones, and I couldn't find anything that reversed that. But um, with the change in Harrison's title and with us hiring a new employee, they are not covered on this cell phone ordinance. There was a, another ordinance that did cover Todd as far as being a park employee. I did not print that one out because it just covers Todd. It just says that Todd, that being a full-time park employee, gets a cell phone. <coughs> so. I would like to change it to read that all full-time employees receive the cell phone stipend 
based on the fact that I was told that that's how when I inquired from different people they said that it should include all full-time staff some of the part-timers have cell phones um, but I don't know if you want to include part-timers also that's your choice or if you just want to add a couple more to the original ordinance I can rewrite it to read that it you know I can add not <coughs> um, but we do have to change it to where the police department their cell phones are paid that ordinance this ordinance does that also Which one are you at? the 2016-12 that that reads in there that the police officers the only exception to the rule are the full-time police officers since the town will provide them with a cell phone and they shall not receive this stipend or you can take it all in with your own cell phone <laughs> you hush you can't bring any phone <laughs> when you say turn it off and not use them just turn them in you know, I'm not all this. No, you're fine. <laughs> but I mean, there was an ordinance back in 2014. I really don't. Uh -huh. Passed on in January 14. Uh -huh. Forest type that. But forest type, right? No cell phone. We got rid of the police department. We put in full-time employees at the park. I don't know if that addresses all your concerns, but I want to make sure you know. Well, I think this is the one that they they amended to include Todd, right? Well, it's not. Ah, yeah. it's full-time employees of the park. Of the department. park, yeah. So this is the one that they passed that gave the park employee the $60 as well as the rest. But isn't this one, because this, this didn't supersede it, did Well, it? what we did was, I think, if you look, that's what was originally passed in 2010. Right. And A2 read all officers at August Police Department. Well. We took out, we changed A2 to get rid of the police department and then we substituted full time the president of the park department. Again, I don't know if this accomplishes everything that you or anybody else wants to do, but I just want you to be aware okay. of that ordinance. Yeah, I read that as, as it include it then included the park department full time employees. Mm -hmm. What I fell back on is with Harrison not being a senior lineman or a lineman anymore and he doesn't fall under any of the eight categories that are you know and he needs yep. a cell phone and then we're hiring a general laborer and that is not included in these eight that is on the original so I'm I if I write it as all full-time employees the park employees plus you know everybody gets it now we do have a couple of part-time employees that do use their cell phones so I don't know how you want to categorize that I'm just throwing that out you just like to work you must have a phone but you have pay for it yeah. <laughs> I, I say all full-time employees because then we're going to run into this when we go to the on call thing so yeah. Have to have something. So the only the only <laughs> one that would be added would be your general laborers, which would then be Harrison and, and the part timer. And according to this, Candy does not get one either. And she is the only other full time employee. And she uses her cell phone all the time <laughs> to go out to the cemetery and take pictures, to call in and ask for certain grave sites, to you know what I mean. Talk to Jamie when he's out, <laughs> you know. So I'm just saying that it's there are three people that are not included on, on the original cell phone stipend. So it was just a rough draft of something. We have to do something because otherwise the people that we're hiring in and Harrison will not get one next month. 
because according to our ordinance. full-time employees. I mean, we've got along with it. It's, it's a good, it is a convenience for all of it. I should say convenience. It's a, a used tool. <laughs> yes. The way we are, since we don't have the radios that <coughs> work anymore in the trucks, yeah. to a certain extent, they don't. It's part-time, though. I wouldn't say part-time. Part since it says all full-time employees, does <laughs> that include Candy then? Yes. I'm so sorry? Line one says all full-time employees. Yes. Does that include Candy then? It yes. will. Yes. Okay. But I'm, I'm right just now, being no. very yeah, honest on who it's going to include. 2016-12 then, then would include her. Right. What was that you had, what was that, what you were just showing down there, that little, what? There was a there was an ordinance, George, from back in 2014. <coughs> the original ordinance included the police department, right. and it didn't include uh, full-time employees of the park board. Well, in 2014, we changed that to get rid of the police department, mm -hmm. and we added, substituted, full-time employees of the park department. And I was just making sure Lisa was aware that that ordinance <coughs> was drafted. I wasn't sure exactly what the goal was here, but I, I think I'm getting it now, and you would still need to have her ordinance to accomplish right. to, to enable full-time employees yes. to have a cell phone style. And then this one would supersede those two, yes. right? Because yeah. it says so. Yeah, because it says so. <laughs> I make a motion that all full-time employees, although we pass ordinance, that all full-time employees Got a motion and a second to pass ordinance 2016-12. First reading. We're all ready. Yeah. You got to suspend the rules if you're going to pass it all. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll back up. Suspend the rules. Yes, I would like to do so. <laughs> pass it on all three readings. I would like to pass it on all three readings. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules and pass ordinance 2016-12 on all three readings. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. You have to do in the headlight work. <laughs> <laughs> Any other new business? Department head reports. Police department. Well, you should have my oh, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. You should have my report in the packet. Um, just real quick on the quick on the numbers. Yeah. Just highlight a couple. Eight criminal arrests for the month. Mm -hmm. um, Seventy-nine traffic warnings for the month. And we gave twenty-four traffic arrests for the month. Fifteen criminal investigations. Um, and a couple other things. Miles Scott, um, he's going through the FTO process right now. He's doing really good and he'll be done with it pretty soon. And he's going to go to the academy. We got him scheduled for March 3rd, which is which is really good. The other thing I had was the active shooter, the town. I had an active shooter class set up for the town employees. November 30th. What time was it? Was it, was it 2? Like 1. 1.30. 1 1 I don't know if you guys if you're able to attend that or I don't know. It's up to you. All. The police department will be doing its own active shooter after that because we're going to be doing shooting each other with airsoft guns. You know? um, the last thing I had was you got the quotes for the Dodge Charger. I was just wanting to get it. Go ahead to go ahead and order it. Uh, if you see, I think the town and country one was like four or five hundred dollars cheaper. I believe I got one from the town and country, one from Mike Anderson. So. I guess I didn't need to go ahead to order it. It was like under 25000 which is under the, the one from town and country. So I think we budgeted 25.
And that's with a lot of the town and country one with a lot of the lights and stuff hooked up and some of ready to go basically. 24494. And the other one at Mike Anderson's was 25 something. So the very back page of the one George has. Cage now. Well, I was looking at it this way. I don't like. I think of the new one. I don't. A couple of the guys want to, They they don't want to drive it. Um, so we kind of sign vehicles. A couple of, they want to stay with the truck. They like the truck. And I do not want the 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 younger guys in the the Charger because it's. I don't want someone. It, it's it's fast. And I don't want them doing something. <laughs> well, I mean, if that thing runs 180 miles, the new guy's going to run 180 miles an hour, and I don't want that. So, I'm starting to feel like a frog getting old. <laughs> so, I'm thinking I, I would probably, if they want to drive the truck, I'll probably drive the, the, the new vehicle more often. It just, it's handier, especially when I'm going to different things and they're working. And, and it's all wheel drive, too. It's not going to be. I got a quote for an SUV for Ford. It's it's like twenty nine hundred or twenty nine thousand. That's without the the trade in. But I don't I don't know if we. Can, it's probably a better vehicle for the money and everything. But I don't know if we need another SUV. It's just me. But I guess I got it here because I want to see it. But it's up to you. Which one do you want? The one in town and country, I think, is the best. I move the bill out, Officer Bowman, to go ahead and purchase the uh, quote from town country, or country auto, whatever you want to call it. Country auto. I'll second it. Got a motion and a second to allow Chief Bowman to purchase his squad car from country auto center. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Second. Yeah, that this is off of those. That teacher that wanted no, to No, you can yeah. ignore that, sorry. Okay. Right. I got an email today that they are no longer doing it, so okay. I had it in your packets. I apologize. Mm -hmm. I do have one thing I need to ask about. Though. Can we finish the, yeah. the front of the hips? Okay. I, that's all I have. All right, thank you for that. Right. Utility. Uh, you should have my report, the uh, wastewater in. <coughs> uh, seems like since the last meeting, quite a bit's happened. <laughs> Um, but some things good too. Uh, the walking trail finally got done after how many months? It looks fantastic. Um, the monument uptown's done. That again looks good. Yes. So and we've doing well on uh, picking up uh, leaves too. So I think this should be the big week, and after that it should be kind of downhill. So hopefully we can regroup. Um, just short, a lot of help lately, so we're, we're doing what we can. Because you're doing a good job. Thanks. The, the, poles the poles are up. The poles are up. I'm hoping to start decorations next week. So I've I've got to run some cables and stuff over there. i got to figure out how that's going to work across the road still. So once I get that figured out, it'll be easy, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about the poles? Uh, well, I don't know that we can do those. I think we have a permit through the state, and I don't think that's going to even apply for yet. So that may not happen this year. What's that? I said the apply for you just hadn't gotten yeah. yeah. okay. yeah. 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 it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We haven't got it yet. So maybe next year. But as far as the uptown, we'll get we'll get all that done. Uh, the other thing we talked about was uh, putting on another um, electric employee, maybe in February. I may want to move that up. We'll, we'll kind of see where we're at. So. 
Yeah, Jim's home. Uh, he got home today. He's, he's doing good. <coughs> You'll probably see him around here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fire at EMS. You have a report for that. You said that's it. That's it? Alright. Thanks. Don't give me none of that. Alright. I did fire What do you got for fire? Uh, fire departments going to start looking at uh, a washing machine to wash beer okay. and a couple of detectors for different gases, I guess you want to call it. Um, we're going to try to work on some rants, but we may be coming back asking for a percentage to match in the town if possible. Not sure why yet, but it depends on what the grant covers. So just a heads up. Go ahead. That's you and Mark. I know. Lisa, would you, would you uh, want to bring up? Um, I have a, we have a CD that is maturing as of December 2nd. And I just got it in the mail. We have interest of $7,771.24 that I need to know if you want to reinvest or do you want it brought out into our checking account and just reinvest the main balance that was invested? Does that make sense? How long was it in for? A year. But it says it will mature on 12-2 of 2016 interest may not be paid after maturity so we need to really in because it's going to mature on 12 2 and we don't have another meeting until 12 7 i i had to slip it in and decide what we're going to do with it you know what we did last year i don't remember you just started these investments mm -hmm. last year i think we didn't order yeah i'm sorry but didn't we um meet with them and they were going to kind of advise us what we wanted to do with them because we were setting them up where they were supposed to mature so often so and i understand does that this I one renew for a year or is it do we this go four one years is for with a it year or? well but when we renew it because we were setting them up on a ladder right um i i will admit i just got this in so i did not have time to talk to ombud and associates yet but I thought if I could get your opinions on the interest, the balance of it, we know we've already had it invested. So I just needed to know what you wanted with the interest. That way when Amba does advise either way, I at least know that I have permission to invest it. Does that make sense? make a motion to uh, put the interest back in and roll it over for another year. Second. And a motion and a second to reinvest the interest on the CD for another year. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Make a motion to accept the department head report. Second. A motion a second to accept the department head report. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Claims 1239 through 1352. Okay. On um, the total docket for November the 16th, 2016 is one hundred and twenty thousand seven hundred and thirty-four dollars and ninety-two cents. The top five claims are, number one is Selective Insurance <coughs> Company, which is our town liability policy, was $38,316. Claim number two was payroll number 22 for $32,853.85. 
Number three was Indiana Department of Revenue sales tax for $8,821.39. Claim number four was the Federal Reserve at $6,867.42. Claim number, or, or the fifth claim is uh, Vermeer at $3,800. Total top five claims is $90,658.66. And that is 75% of the total docket. Jamie, what are those locations for? Uh, for underground utilities, for locating uh, electric lines, water lines, all that stuff underground. We never, we never had any? We had one, but it's 20 years old. Okay. And I've been having trouble with it, so okay. we, we start looking at a new one. Thing out here. Yes. Okay. That was another thing that we probably have to discuss at a later time. So, mm -hmm. like next year's budget. Oh, no, it's it's just breaking. And We're gonna get you it those turned off <laughs> on its own. The parts to fix it are. We get the suction cups. It's antiquated it already. It's like everything else electronic. Yeah. It's not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds so excited. I'll make a motion to accept the claims for twelve ninety nine thirteen fifty two. Second. Have a motion and a second to accept the claims twelve ninety nine. Through 1352. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. You said aye. Didn't you? <laughs> I'd just like to, before you adjourn, yes. thank Jamie for stepping up. Oh, yes. Jim Pinoff and all the other employees for yes. stepping up. Um, yeah. I think you guys did pretty good for what you got, so we're going into it. So thanks. Thank you. The work is, uh, like I said, the monument work. Everything you guys done has been top notch. So been how cool is the play? It's really you can. Every, everybody, everybody's done an excellent job. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, we didn't have much to do with that, but. Well, I know, but yeah, still, the whole idea. Whole, yeah. You prepped it. You prepped it. You prepped it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Motion to adjourn. Second. A motion and second to adjourn. All here to say aye. 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 Aye.